how to prepare for cat from july and so uh, there are about almost 150 days remaining so there is still enough time uh, the ballpark for preparation for a median candidate is about 400 hours and 150 hours for learning fundas 150 hours for practicing and building speed and 100 hours for taking mocks uh, the issue that comes with starting with july is you you do not absolutely do not have the luxury of saying i learn all the fundas then i'll revise then i'll practice then i'll take mocks mocks will come sometime in jan by the time all exams are over and so when if you're starting in july you have to have a plan for mocks straight away you have to say look i'm starting preparation on july 1st i'll prepare for 10 days on july 5th 12th i'm taking a mock I know that you're not ready for mocks, you're not mentally prepared, you're not uh, really geared up, you don't feel like you're prepared for sufficiently long time, it doesn't matter. And so, if you're thinking about three phases of preparation, learning, speed building, mocks. If you're starting in July, all three will have to run parallelly. And the last step will be dominated by mocks. But repeat, you cannot afford to have a scenario where you say, I'll finish phase one, then do phase two, then start mocks. You will not have time to do sufficient number of mocks. Great part of preparation is anchored around mocks. And so now within the learning part, there should be a sequence that you need to plan. For, uh, for quant, very simple, start with arithmetic, then go to geometry, then go to algebra. After that, if you have time, bandwidth, energy, and you are already comfortable, then hit number theory, permutation, combination, set theory, all the miscellaneous topics. When, when I say geometry, I mean geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, put together. When I say algebra, I mean linear equation, quadratic equation, inequalities, functions, put together. And so, arithmetic, geometry, algebra, then the rest. That should be your sequence of learning as far as quant is concerned. Uh, for verbal ability, read for an hour every day. That reading for one hour every day is not included in this 400 hours. Rain or shine, you have to read for an hour. If you're aspiring to crack MBA, crack this exam and go to an MBA, you must read for one hour every day till the day you go take CAT. That is absolutely not negotiable. And you should read good things, things with variety and increase the variety and amp up the quality sooner, reasonably quickly. And so that is not negotiable. But apart from that, you don't need to do heavy duty verbal preparation. You're probably thinking about a couple of hours of verbal every week, not more than that. And for logical reasoning, start to get the context of logical reasoning, pick some one year's actual CAD questions, preferably 2018, 19, little while further in the past. There, that way you're, you, you have a sense of what this is. Do 10 sets to grab that, to get a sense of that. Then start preparing from scratch. Learn simple ideas in data interpretation, simple ideas in logical reasoning, then transition to ones that are that involve both and are tougher and complicated. Fine. Earlier on, your preparation, your overall CAT preparation will have a bias towards more learning. There will be a bias towards quant. That's all right. But the one thing you have to have to have to keep in mind is you do not have the luxury of saying phase one, then phase two, then phase three. Everything has to happen at a stretch. If you're thinking about a weekly plan, you should say, look, I'm going to finish these two topics in quant. I'm going to revise the two that I did the previous week, do four sets of logical reasoning, read for an hour every day and do four RC passages every Sunday. This should be your plan for the first week, two weeks. Within two weeks, you're going to say, I'm going to do all this and take one mock and analyze that. You cannot say, I learn, then revise, then go do mocks. That's the big theme. If you're starting in July, you must amp up your mocks as quickly as possible. The first three, four mocks, the score simply doesn't count. Doesn't matter. I know if you have not completed the syllabus, you feel like you're not ready for mocks. Put all the enthusiasm possible in that two hour slot. But if you're not cracking it, if you're not getting a great score, you're not able to attempt a bunch of questions, that's completely fine. Don't lose this habit of taking mocks every week. And you've got to take some month, month and a half to build it. So you start on July 15, it'll take till August 31st to just get comfortable with the idea of taking more. That's super important. Only then after that, the real deal begins. Fine. So phase one, phase two, phase three, get merged and all collide. If you start now, that's completely all right. Slightly heavier bias towards learning and to quant in the first month and a half to heavy duty practice and consolidation from August 15 to October 1st. Completely mock dependent, mock driven from October 1 till end of the exam. Right? It is very much possible to crack it starting now. Uh, lots of students start in July and crack this exam out of shape beautifully. Don't have this funda that I'm starting too late, so I'll do this shortcut, I'll plan this, I'll dump this topic, I'll optimize for this, I'll leave this. You can start now, 
finish almost the entire syllabus have a clear understanding of your strengths and weaknesses learn from fundamentals not be a slave to notional shortcuts and crack this exam don't come under that pressure that you're starting so late yeah late be brilliant if it started in january but july is not the end of the world and so don't don't think of this as already too late so i need to do some desperate things you don't need to do any desperate things learn the same way you would have learned if you started in jan feb from fundamental building brick by brick very much possible best wishes for you